how did I get here? Well, it's a stranger story than you might think. I came from a world of drifters. A place few humans have ever seen. The world of plankton. I came from a batch of a million eggs, and only a few of us survived. When I became a larva, I moved among other drifters. My fellow plankton came in all sizes, from tiny algae and bacteria to animals longer than a blue whale. I shared my nursery with other embryos and juveniles, from clams and crabs to sea urchins and anemones. We drifting animals are called zooplankton. The most common animals here are copepods and krill. You could search the world over, but you'd never find a place more diverse than my childhood home. A teaspoon of seawater can contain more than a million living creatures. It can be a pretty tough existence, though. Trillions are born here but only a few make it to adulthood. He may be no larger than a pinhead, but this crab larva is an arrowworm's worst nightmare. Epic battles between carnivores like these are just one way to get food. But the real powers of this place come from phytoplankton. Single-celled life that transforms sunlight and carbon dioxide into edible gold. Phytoplankton are the base for the largest food web in the world. During the night, many animals like me would rise up from the depths to feed on this sun-powered feast. I was part of the largest daily migration of life on Earth. During the day, I'd return to the darkness where I'd join my bizarre companions. Cannibals like this sea butterfly mollusk that eats its next of kin. And comb jellies that beat cilia like rainbowed eyelashes. Some of these snare their prey with sticky tentacles, while others just take a bite out of their cousins and siphonophores that catch prey with toxic fishing lures. But my favorite would have to be the crustacean Phronema. Its monstrous looks inspired the movie Aliens. It can catch tiny bits in its bristles, but prefers larger prey like salps. With two sets of eyes, this female prowls the deeper water. Prey in hand, she performs one of the strangest behaviors in the entire animal kingdom. With body parts from her victims, she delicately assembles a barrel-like home, feeding her young until they can drift off and survive on their own. Best of all, they make the perfect snack for a small fish like me. Here among the plankton, the food web is so tangled and complex, even scientists don't know who eats whom. But I do. 
At least now you know a bit of my story. There's so much more to me than just a tasty meal. <laughs>